Knox County tonight, the community where three people were brutally murdered came together in an effort to help each other and especially their kids move forward. News Channel 5's John Kosick was there and has more in tonight's session on grief and healing. So much of the past week has been focused on the shocking and gruesome details of this kidnapping and triple murder, where tonight the focus was on helping parents and children deal with how they are feeling and what they are thinking about what happened. Two weeks ago today, 13-year-old Sarah Maynard and her 11-year-old brother Cody attended class here at East Knox Middle School. Classmates of the children whose parents tonight came out to the school. They are here to help each other with the emotional scars left by Sarah's kidnapping and the murders of Cody, his mother Tina Herman, and her friend Stephanie Sprang. Because when stress and trauma um, hit a family of this magnitude, it throws folks kind of out into left field. And it takes a long time to kind of um, recover. So you're not just dealing with the kids, you're also dealing with parents, um, entire families that are struggling uh, with this community crisis. Corey Glover came for her son, who goes to the middle school. He's also very close to Sarah, so his heart's really going out to her right now and what she must be going through, the loss of, you know, her mother and her brother and, and what she's been through herself. Her son has many questions, and that parents learn to night is normal. He's struggling to understand why I think like all of us are, you know, why these kids, why these adults, um, why this community. The session hosted by the Ohio Crisis Response Team was closed to cameras to allow for an open dialogue. When it was over, Kathy left feeling much better. Her daughter was a classmate of Cody's. I'm lucky. She talks very well to me. You know, we've had a lot of talks and I've just fielded them the best I could. And this is reassuring because I didn't do anything that I shouldn't have. And while the healing begins, the legal process moves forward. 30-year-old Matthew Hoffman, the suspect, is scheduled to be in Mount Vernon Municipal Court tomorrow at 2.30 on a kidnapping charge. He remains locked up on a million dollars bond. In Knox County, John Kasich, News Channel 5.